Alrighty here, new shot, no sound. Let's check this out. We got turtle versus turtle. It's at the pizza rig. Ah, oh, it makes me hungry. All right. So as you mentioned here, it's still early stages and you're not super married to the ideas. I think, let me see what's going on here. I think what helps sometimes at the beginning is to not go too crazy with the camera. Not that there's a lot of craziness. I see like a little bit of movement there. What strikes me that there is a lot of, like one thing you can do, sometimes it gets a bit tricky with stepped versus a spline camera, but I would not step the cameras. Keep that spline. And then you just potentially just have to have more keys on this to sell all of that. But I'm just curious if this is going to be too fast going up there because it doesn't seem like he's going up th that high in the lands. I know I'm slightly concerned about just this moment here and then this switch into this mainly because like when I when I watch this there are a couple of things this is a massive explosion of a new event which is cool but watch out we have some overlap here, so it gets not super clear. And he's also having barely a reaction. Now, you might argue that's his character and that's what he does, but you could potentially have at least one step back where then one foot is here, the other foot is here, you know, and he has maybe the shell is like that and he looks over and get, gets kind of ready. Again, this is maybe the part of the, your, your character thing of, oh, he's not, you know, he's not that quick, especially as you can see here kind of clumsy can't get to him really and then that i know that's whole the whole clumsy thing but i wonder if that could also help you with maybe you have i'm just throwing out ideas here you know this could be something where he's about to eat this we have a bit of a rumble here i know it takes away from the surprise but it gives him a moment to to look and i know i'm, I'm extending the shot as well i'm basically trying to find ways for him to react to this and even if it's a lean back a bit and he has the pizza here so we really free up this silhouette but i also want him to get out of this ik leg thing so that's the other thing that i'm always feeling like when when i see shots where stuff is happening but the character is not moving whatsoever you can see how there's a slight foot switch right but that's it it feels like ah oh, i didn't want to move my my legs just because you know weight shift is complicated but it just feels so like bolted down and that's why i feel like if you already have this might as well have him take at least a small step back readjustment gives you a clean separation between these two here i would spline the camera i would also potentially to be honest stage it maybe like this i also feel like everything feels a bit crammed in that's the other feeling that I had. So we get to see this. Again, we have you know just a bit more room out here. And then that way we have a little bit more room on the edges here. And the thing is, he could also do this. Instead of this, where even color-wise, it gets very muddy here in terms of silhouette. This bit of a tangent there with the shoe. Where like, what if he really grabs this and maybe puts it up a bit higher. Pizza. And then the other guy is here. Like a really clean thirds type of thing. Whoops. Where we're not so overlappy. Even here again, when you go back. Bit of a tangent there. It just, I think this is too much. And if we're zoomed out a bit, and you might even, dare I say, you know, imagine like he's more like this here. And then you have, I got to switch drawing tools here. What am I switching here? Orange? Sure. What if then he is here? shell hey i got your pizza you know what i mean so now we have all this space here for this guy showing in a very clear silhouette i got what you what you want because even here i know we know what it is by now but imagine he would hold it just maybe maybe the hand is you know on top holding it so it's a very very clean silhouette and then you have a nice clean silhouette for that guy that'd be the thought there you know, then you have maybe more room for this as well. Again, we're just very close here. And then when he gets into this, we immediately have this overlap. So imagine the character is more on the left, like I said. 
he also has a more range to go in terms of let me uh switch this over here so imagine he is you know going from here and then the other turtle is is that the wrong tool there you go the turtle is here right the other guy is here now you have more diagonal space to go where you are a bit more three quarter instead of head on which gives you a bit more to play with in terms of you know the spline change and the line of action change well anything that, that's head on gets a bit flat and he exits like what is he doing here is he this seems like he's actually getting punched like where is the pizza hold on so he is eating it so are you saying that he actually ate the thing? Like, what is it? Is he throwing it up in the air because it lands here and it grabs it? Maybe I'm not super clear about this here. Okay, this seems like he's throwing it up in the air and that's when he charges him, punches him. But then why is it here? Is it falling down here? And that's where he grabs it and then swings it back? Not super clear, at least to me. So if he, if he punches him, this could be also potentially a punch with the right hand. So then, and then going back to my guy, imagine, you know, he would be here. So now, even if he's still in this pose, now you got that right arm to come into this, you know, silhouette. Maybe that arm is up here oh, and you have all of this and the other arm could be here. You just have a much cleaner, stronger, but more visible view than what's going on here. And again, with all that extra space up there and down there, uh, maybe we get to understand a bit more what that pizza thing is doing. And even this at the end, it's a bit too overlappy where, like even here, we bring out that forearm and just, and just clean this up a bit. And then he falls down and we have that and then that's totally fine. But you also, we cut out a bit too soon. You would have to add another second for it to, like, like he would land and the pizza would go, have a bit of a, a exaggerated timing of hold maybe, and then boom. Nice splat, maybe with the top kind of, you know, the 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 tip here. This lands first, and then at the end, that, or maybe part of the pepperoni comes off. Something like that, you know what I mean? Just gives a bit more time at the end. But that is mainly that. I hope that makes sense. Uh, again, maybe I just I missed something super obvious, but that's the impression that I had for this clip, and uh, that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.